Hello and welcome to Darkside Scenics. In this video I'll be showing you how I made this model clapper bridge. I visited Postbridge to get some inspiration but unfortunately this is Dartmoor in July. Rather than make a replica of Postbridge I chose my favourite details and used those as a reference. For the diorama base I used some offcuts from the shed and also some packing material. To build up the terrain I'll be using Sculpt Mould. Put some in a bowl, add water and then mix. Add it to the diorama to create the terrain. As it dries you'll be able to smooth and shape it. I'll be adding a granite slab path so I've made those sections slightly lower. There's also going to be a very small island so I've raised that section. A brown acrylic wash was left over from a previous project so I used that as a base coat. To ensure the resin section is watertight, I'm using Woodland Scenics Olive Drab Paint before adding a second coat of the acrylic wash on the banks. Matte Mod Podge is brushed over the relevant areas ready for the earth texture. I hoover up the excess earth texture but unfortunately chipped the riverbed so I need to touch that in with some more paint. Water mixed with washing up liquid is sprayed on before adding the scenic cement. While the earth is drying I glue two very thin pieces of wood to the riverbed to mark where the pillars will be. I'll paint them in a moment. I have a paper template for the main stones so I just check everything is where it needs to be. The riverbed is built up using a variety of stones, ballast and scatter. The large stones are glued individually. Logs are also glued individually. I'm keeping the majority on one side of the river which will give the illusion of depth to the other side. These smaller stones are scattered without glue as they'll hold when I add the scenic cement. Ballast and various grit is used before adding twigs over the top. Some foam is added as greenery before it's sprayed with watered down washing up liquid and then scenic cement. As the glue is drying I sprinkle over some wooden scenic's fine turf for a moss effect. Moving on to the bridge pillars and abutments I roll some dust clay and create some granite slabs of various sizes. The main stones are also made using dust clay. I use the paper template to ensure the sizes are correct. The sides are carved with the other end of my tweezers to replicate stones I've seen on real clapper bridges. The centre of the post bridge clapper bridge is two separate stones but actually looks like one with a line down the middle so I'm making it as one and carving a line in the centre. Next I need to create a large number of stepping stones leading up to the bridge so I make small balls of clay and then flatten them with my nail. Scenic glue is used to attach them to the diorama. To blend the stones in I sprinkle some earth texture over the top.
Using a soft brush, I remove the earth from the stones before another application of watered down washing up liquid and then scenic cement. When the clay stones are dry, I glue them into place to create the bridge pillars. The abutments are added for a final check to ensure the top stones fit correctly. The gaps behind the abutments will be backfilled and painted later. Watered down filler is stippled onto the stepping stones with an old brush. The filler helps to create the granite effect. The same process is used on the top stones. This might need two coats depending on the coverage. I could have covered the pillars in filler beforehand, but decided to do it when they were in place. At Post Bridge there's a stone wall on one side which is a really nice feature. I've actually created a video on dry stone walls. If it's of interest I've added a link in the top right and will also put it in the description. I mixed up a few grey brown acrylic washes and kept adding them to the stones until I got the desired colour. For the resin pour I need a dam at each end, some plastic sheets are used and glued on with scenic glue. It needs to be watertight so it's important not to leave any gaps. I add some tape just to hold the plastic in place while the glue dries. I already had some Woodland Scenics resin and have created a separate video which gives more detail on the process. Again I'll add a link to the description. When the resin has been prepared I carefully pour it into the river area. A few pieces of twigs came loose which I'll fish out with tweezers. The stir sticks can be used if the resin needs blending into the riverbank. Bubbles will often appear in the resin after 10 or 20 minutes and can be easily removed with a quick blast of a blowtorch. The river is covered over with some cards so nothing settles on it as it dries. When the resin is set, you can trim the raised areas with a sharp knife. Basing glue is spread over the earth texture before I add some 2mm light green grass as a base. The excess grass is hoovered up and then some scenic glue is added to the bridge pillars before Woodland Scenic's fine turf is pushed on to give a moss effect. I repeat the process on the dry stone wall and the rocks. The excess is hoovered up when the glue is a time to go off. keep some areas of short grass I use masking tape to cover them. Layering spray is used in different areas before I add a top layer of WWS 4mm dead grass. Black weathering powder is used to create some streaks in random areas on the stones. I 
I'm using plenty of scenic glue here to make sure the top stones attach properly. More scenic glue is added to the gaps before grass is applied. The island has grass added and then a small hole is made to add a dead tree. For the heather and gorse I'm using small pieces of sea foam. Layering spray is added before sprinkling on various green scatters. Using layering spray, yellow and purple flowers are stuck on the top. The different coloured bushes are mixed up and then glued to the diorama before using some scatter around the edges for blending. Small holes are made for the reeds and bushes and then they're attached using scenic glue. It's quite common to see a stone wall broken down on Dartmoor, so a fence is usually seen on one side. I've threaded the wire through the post beforehand, but it can be done after the posts are glued in place. I had this footpath sign left over from a kit, so I thought it'd be a nice feature on this diorama. Creating the water ripples is achieved with Gloss Mod Podge. In small sections, the Mod Podge is stippled on before a straw is used to blow the glue into a ripple effect. It's difficult to see, but I use some white and yellow acrylic mixes to add some small lichen patches on the sides of the granite. More weathering powder is brushed between and around the stepping stones to show general wear. I also used it to blend in the riverbank. The last thing to do was take an early morning trip to Dartmoor to take the final photos.